We've been showing off Grave for a while now, but to many of you it may still be new. You might still be wondering what the game is all about and what sets it apart. At its core, Grave is meant to capture the feeling of old-school survival horror games like Resident Evil and Silent Hill, but update it with the horror sensibilities of games like Amnesia, Slender the Arrival, and Outlast. In classic survival horror, you had an inventory and could engage in combat. As those games progressed, they became less about horror and more about action, partly because it is easier for big studios to find an audience that way. Amnesia and other games like it have since reinvented the horror experience by returning the player to a state of vulnerability. In fact, most modern horror games make running or hiding the only real option, and this is part of what really heightens the tension. Grave is intended to fit in the space between these two experiences. We've learned a lot from modern horror and feel vulnerability is definitely the key to being scared, but we don't think that means you can't have options. That's one of the reasons we picked light-based weapons. Every creature reacts differently to your arsenal. Some enemies can be killed by flashlights, while others are simply angered by them. Flares might ward off one creature but attract another. This is really the key to keeping the experience interesting over time. Each new creature encountered throughout the game requires you to apply your inventory differently. While you can take action, you're never going to be an unstoppable killing machine. Grave is inspired by surrealism, and because of that we're procedurally changing the environment while you play. The locations you find at any given moment are based on the passage of time, your progress in the story, and a number of other factors. This creates incentive to take risky explorations during the day, and also lets us do some pretty cool things with hidden locations and easter eggs. Entire sections of the environment might only exist for a small period of time, so if you feel like you'd be safer just hunkering down at night and waiting for the next morning, you may be sacrificing the chance to get new items or valuable resources. Our goal is to keep play dynamic and interesting, whether you're fighting monsters or not. Thanks for taking a look. If you like what you see, consider helping us out on Kickstarter. We're in the last week of the campaign and need your help to reach our goal.